If you want to figure out how I made this vegan French toast, then you guys really need to stay tuned and just go ahead and watch. Keep watching. You want to learn how to make this or not? Just keep watching. Hey guys, it's me, Brittany, aka Fine Apple Vegan. Welcome back to my channel. And today we are making French toast. This is very easy. Um, I know a lot of us are stuck in our house. So I'm just trying to like find things that are in my pantry or fridge that we can kind of use and cook up together. A lot of things that you guys might have. And even if you don't have what I have, I'm going to try to give you variations. So let me go ahead and tell you guys what we will need for the French toast. Obviously, we will need them. <laughs> cinnamon, <laughs> nutmeg, well, I'm using coconut milk, and I actually got this coconut milk from Dollar Tree for a dollar, it don't need to be fancy, it don't need to be all extra, you really don't even have to use coconut milk if you don't want to, you can use vegan creamer, you can use any non-dairy milk that you want, like it's really up to you, and also I have a very ripe banana, for this I'm using aquafaba, if you don't have this, you don't have to use it. Um, the banana is a really good binder on its own. The reason why I'm using aquafaba is because it has like that egginess to it. Um, and for those of you who don't know what aquafaba is, it is the juice that's in a can of chickpeas. So it's just like the chickpea water, basically. Also, you need bread. This is just Kroger brand bread. It is vegan. It only has wheat and soy. It used to actually say suitable for vegans on it but i guess some people was complaining or whatever i don't know but they took it off so but it is vegan butter i have a stick of the country crock um butter this is the avocado oil one honestly any vegan butter will work i just like this one also this is going to be really quick no measurements so let's just jump right into it so i'm going to use this full can of milk the coconut milk and it is 13 and a half fluid ounces I'm just going to pour that in my blender. If you don't have a blender, that's fine. You can just mix it really well with your hands. Um, you're going to get frustrated because if you've made French toast before, then you know that that cinnamon doesn't really blend well in the nutmeg. It, it's so frustrating. It kind of just floats on the top. So that's why I'm using a blender. So I'm going to put this whole banana. It's super ripe, y'all. It's like falling apart. And so we have our nutmeg. I'm going to put trying to see that's probably about one teaspoon of nutmeg a tiny bit more in there it's maybe like one to two teaspoons did he go through the legs here the nutmeg he sure did so this is a half of a tablespoon i'm gonna take half of that out so one fourth of a tablespoon of cinnamon should suffice and now for our aquafaba so the aquafaba, I'm gonna put in one eighth of a cup. This is getting really hot. I had it preheating, so it's already getting pretty hot. And I prefer to use my cast iron skillet for this because it just gives it a nice crispiness, but it's not clean and I don't wanna wash it. So let's go ahead and put in vanilla I'm gonna measure this too let's do half of a tablespoon of vanilla as well that might be a little more than I need but I love vanilla so it's gonna be good either way use as little or as much as you want don't go OD though because you know vanilla extract is really strong all right I'm just gonna twist this on give it a shake try to evenly distribute some stuff and let's blend it until smooth. Okay, so I blended it for about 30 seconds. And now I'm just gonna pour it in the bowl. It's still pretty liquidy, but it's fairly thick. So with this bread, I would prefer to use like sourdough or some type of thick cut bread. But this is all I have, which is fine. It's still going to taste amazing. It's still going to, you know, work the same. So let's go ahead and put our butter. Um, this is about one tablespoon of butter. 
and just kind of let it melt. And while it's melting in our preheated skillet, I'm gonna go ahead and start coating the bread. Grab your bread and coat each side. That's it, y'all. Super easy. Don't sit it in there too long because you don't want it to be just too mushy. And then we're just gonna put it in the pan. Now repeat that process for all of the bread. I hope you guys are not stressing over what's going on. I hope y'all are not panicking. Obviously, you need to take precaution, but try to remain positive. There's no room for extra negativity right now. And stay calm. Stay hydrated. Take your vitamins. Eat good. And try to just make it a positive thing. Work on your goals, work on your YouTube channel, like just take advantage of the time that you have and try to make it a positive thing. Because what we don't need is a bunch of scared, negative people running around because it's already scary as this in itself, you know, and we're just going to let that cook basically brown on one side and then we're going to flip it and let the other side brown. And that's pretty much it, y'all. It's super easy. So... But y'all gonna have to stick with me while I make all this. So, um, you can play around with the ingredients. Like, if you don't have banana, you could use applesauce. Or you don't have to use either. If you have aquafaba, you could just use that with the milk. If you don't have any aquafaba, you could just use the banana with applesauce and milk. Or you can take the milk out altogether. Honestly, you could just make the batter your own. Um, this is just what I do and it tastes the best to me. Check on it. Try not to mess with it too much because since this is a thinner bread, especially if you use the bread, the type of bread that I use, if you mess with it too much, you're going to cause it to rip and it's going to just be a big old mess. It's still going to be edible, but you don't want that. Okay, and as they finish, I'm just going to put them on parchment paper. I like to put them in the oven afterwards because I like for them to be a little more firm. And we're just going to repeat the process with all of it until the batter is gone. And if you don't want to use all the batter, you can definitely save it for like, like I said, smoothies or ice cream. Or you can put it in a, like some Tupperware, like the glass container, storage container, or whatever Tupperware you use. And just refrigerate it and use it the next day. It's still going to be good. So, no worries. Oh, it smells so good. Eat this. I can't wait to eat it. I'm gonna eat it all. Been in the house too long, y'all. All right, y'all. So this is how it looks so far. This is it's basically done. You can eat it like this if you want. But like I said, I like mine a little more firm in the center, so I'm gonna fix it. Let's go to the oven. So I'm only gonna bake it in the oven for like about five to six minutes. It doesn't really need to bake longer than that because it's already done. I just want to firm up a little bit more. So yeah, I'll be right back, y'all. Okay, you guys, so it's been about five to six minutes in the oven for this French toast. And it's exactly how I want it. So what I'm gonna do now is just grab a few, few slices. And just to be a little extra, you don't really have to do any of this stuff, but I like to dress mine up. So what I'm going to do is top it with a little bit of powdered sugar, a little bit of praline pecans. Like I said, this is totally up to you. A blood orange, Kool-Aid orange, and a little bit of 100% um, pure maple syrup. I think this one is the, yeah, the grade A amber color. And it's pure syrup. Alright, now time for the true test. Let's go ahead and eat some. Oh my word. Mmm. It's so 
on them. Goodness gracious. Oh, this is good. Mmm. Put the fork down. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You like it? I'm about to give y'all a plate. Mm -mm. Y'all, it's so good. All right, y'all. So that's it. It's really easy. It's phenomenal. So delicious. Do everything I did. If you can. I know it's hard to get all these things. But if you have them or if you can get them, I recommend doing it the same exact way. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And please stay safe. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And click that notification button so that you'll be notified when I upload videos. I have a lot more videos coming soon. Because um, I know you guys are going to need stuff to watch, to do, food to cook, new ideas. So I definitely get it. And if you make this, I really want to see it. And yeah, stay tuned because I have a lot more stuff coming. See you guys next time. Bye.